Hey, what's happening guys? What's going on YouTube? Today is June 18th, 2019, and I was uh, kind of surprised when I woke up this morning. Facebook has already announced the LibraCoin cryptocurrency. Um, they put out kind of a press release this morning. They released the website, and I was really kind of surprised about this. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. in Chicago right now. Uh, I saw this article from TechCrunch a couple hours ago, and uh, Facebook actually put out a, a bit of a... Uh, kind of a press release in their newsroom about it. Uh, they linked to the actual Libra site uh, and kind of gave it gave us a sneak peek at the white paper and everything. Uh, what kind of surprised me about this is, you know, normally when when an announcement is going to be made in crypto or really anything, there's like a certain time of the day that they're going to have a press conference. Uh, for any of you guys who are like into crypto or into uh, uh, EOS, a couple weeks ago, uh, EOS and Dan Laramere had that. Uh, press conference on a Saturday afternoon, making some announcements about their project, as well as that new voice uh, cryptocurrency project, which is, which is like a uh, social media site run on the blockchain. Really, it's just kind of a copy of Steemit. And uh, Dan Lermer is the same guy who created Steemit. So not very many people were that excited about that. But you know, normally when, when a company releases, you know, some big announcement, they, they, they try to make like a big production of it. So I was kind of surprised that this was, was just kind of put out at like four o'clock in the morning. Um, I actually got to get out to a meeting here shortly, so I don't have a ton of time to run through everything, but I, I just wanted to get a video out there. I will provide links to uh, this TechCrunch article, um, to the Facebook newsroom, as well as to the uh, Libra.org, the Facebook site. Uh, I figured we'd just kind of run through some of this really quick. Uh, June 18th, 2019, uh, from the Facebook newsroom, coming in 2020, Calibra a new digital wallet for a new digital currency. Now, uh, this isn't going to be a true cryptocurrency. I mean, when, when you when you kind of see how this goes, when, when, we, when we learn that, you know, Visa and uh, PayPal and all these guys are partners, uh, kind of the whole point of cryptocurrency is to get middlemen out of the space. Uh, you know, you guys know I ran a, a business for seven years that was in the, you know, it was considered a quote unquote, a high risk uh, business to merchant processors. So when I lost PayPal, uh, it took me a period of three months in contacting over 300 processors to find a new credit card processor. Some processors were trying to charge me 14%. Uh, in the end, I wound up finding a decent processor, but I was paying 7%. Uh, they could call me up and tell me, well, you know, you, you can't sell this product. You have to take this product off your website, or you have to put this warning up, or you have to change this wording. Um, and, and so kind of the whole point of cryptocurrency was to get middlemen out of the way. So when we have a coin like Libra and we have you know, Visa and PayPal and whatever other, you know, big finance companies and banks behind it. Well, of course, they're going to implement rules. Of course, they're going to try to try to control the system. Um, so this kind of defeats the point of cryptocurrency. But I guess for um, your average unbanked person in the world, um, I guess for kind of the masses who, who aren't super into cryptocurrency, uh, this might be kind of cool for them. Maybe this is kind of bringing cryptocurrency to the masses in an easy to... Uh, use format. I believe this is gonna. This wallet is gonna run over the top of WhatsApp, uh, from what I understand. Uh, so they say uh, today we're sharing plans for Calibra, a newly formed Facebook subsidiary whose goal is to provide financial services that will let people access and participate in, in the Libra network. Uh, the first product, Calibra, will introduce a digital wallet for Libra, a new global currency powered by blockchain technology. The wallet will be available in Messenger and WhatsApp as a standalone app, um, and we expect to launch in 2020. So it's, it's still a ways off before this is launched. Uh, if you have an internet connection today, uh, you can access all kinds of useful services for little to no cost. Whether you're trying to keep in touch with uh, family and friends, learn new things, or even start a business, but when it comes to saving, sending, and spending money, it's not that simple. For many people around the world, even basic financial services are still out of reach. Almost half of adults in the world don't have an active bank account, and those numbers are even worse in developing countries and even worse for women. The cost that that exclude the cost of that exclusion is high. Approximately 70% of small businesses in developing countries lack access to credit, and 25 billion is lost by migrants every year through remittance fees. Uh, this is the challenge we're hoping to address with Libra, a new digital wallet that you'll be able to, to use to save, send, and spend Libra. Uh, from the beginning, Calibra will let you send Libra to almost anyone with a smartphone as easily and instantly as you might send a text message uh, and at low to no cost. And in time, we hope to offer additional services for businesses like paying bills with the push of a button, buying a cup of coffee with the scan of a code, 
or riding your uh, local public transit without needing to carry cash or a metro pass. Uh, here's a sneak peek at what it will look like. Um, and, and so essentially what this is, I mean, it, you know, I wouldn't call this a true cryptocurrency. This, this is essentially like PayPal or Venmo uh, running on the blockchain, right? It, it's centralized. There's a company behind it. There's going to be rules. I'll be curious to see what, what if anything, they're going to do with KYC. I'm sure they're going to have to uh, KYC and get people's identities. Um, you know, it's just kind of the reality of, of running a, a, you know, money services business in this country. Um, and I, you know, I personally, I don't want to give Facebook any of my data. We know how Facebook abuses data. We know what Mark Zuckerberg thinks of people. You know, we're all just kind of stupid sheep that he can uh, make money off of. So I can't see people wanting Mark Zuckerberg to kind of have all their financial data. Uh, we'll have to kind of dig into uh, the white paper and see, like, is there any privacy whatsoever? How's it going to work, etc. cetera? Uh, but they go on to say when it launches, Calibra will have strong protections in place to keep your money and your information safe. Uh, we'll all be using the same verification and anti-fraud processes that banks and credit cards use. And we'll have automated systems that will proactively monitor activity to detect and prevent fraudulent behavior. We'll also offer a dedicated live support if you lose your phone or your password, and if somebody fraudulently gains access to your account and you lose some Libra as a result, we'll offer you a refund. So, you know, already this is completely opposite of cryptocurrency where uh, you know, with, with great uh, with great power and freedom comes great responsibility. Here, Facebook's going to do everything for you. Uh, we'll also take steps to protect your privacy. Sure, you will, Facebook. Uh, aside from limited cases, Calibra will not share account information or financial data with Facebook or any third party without customer consent. Uh, this means Calibra's customers' account information and financial data will not be used to improve targeting on the uh, Facebook family of products. Uh, the limited cases where data may be shared uh, reflect our need to keep people safe, comply with the law, and provide basic functionality to the people who use Calibra. Calibra will use Facebook data to comply with the law, uh, secure customers' accounts, mitigate risk, and prevent criminal activity. You can read more about our commitments to privacy and consumer protection here. Yeah, we trust you, Facebook. Uh, we're still in the early processes, process of developing Calibra. Along the way, we'll be consulting with a wide range of experts to make sure we can deliver a product that is safe, private, and easy to use for everyone. But we're excited to share this early glimpse, uh, and we'll share updates along the way. In the meantime, if you'd like to be among the first to know when Calibra is available, you can sign up here. Um, and here we can go over, you know, welcome to the official uh, Libra white paper. Um, you know, maybe I'll make another video. Uh, we can actually go through the the white paper in its entirety there. Um, and I'll link to all this stuff so you guys can kind of check all this out yourself. But I just wanted to get a video out nice and early. I know a lot of people are probably waiting to uh, to hear about this. <coughs> and I'm probably not going to use Libra. I don't really give a shit about Libra. But I am kind of excited if it's going to pump Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. If it's going to be something that's going to get more people interested in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, so we got a page about their vision, blockchain technology, stable value. So, you know, there's not going to be an opportunity to make money off the off the appreciation of the coin because this is going to be a stable coin, right? That would be like buying Tether to make money. Tether, you know, it might fluctuate from 99 cents to a dollar to a dollar one. But, you know, Tether isn't meant to move. Um, and it's going to be the case with uh, Libra coin as well. Let's see the vision, the currency, the reserve, the blockchain. The Libra Association. There's some other little kind of like side projects here. I think there's going to be like a Libra Association that's uh, that's going to be doing like charity works and things like that. Partner with Libra, network of partners. Let's see who are they partnered with. Uh, Vodafone, Visa, Lyft, Stripe, eBay, Spotify, Zappo, Facebook, um, PayPal, Coinbase. Uh, pay you so this probably will be available on coinbase uber mastercard um so really you know kind of just a bunch of big corporations they, they partnered with for this um and then lastly you know TechCrunch did a pretty good article um kind of breaking everything down for you here um how does libra work the libra association government i don't know, anyhow guys like, like i said i just wanted to get a quick video out there i actually got to get running but uh I will link to everything uh, here down in the uh, description box below. We'll link to uh, to the Facebook announcement, the TechCrunch article, um, as well as the actual Libra website. So like I said, you know, it's 6.40 in the morning here now. I was shocked to see this released already. I was kind of looking forward to uh, to the 18th to, to, 
to today uh, to find out more about this. And I can't have anticipated like, you know, three o'clock Eastern time, you know, we'll make an announcement. But I was kind of surprised that everything had been uh, kind of put out there at like four in the morning this morning. Um, I've been meaning to make kind of another crypto video. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming on this summer, coming going on this summer, um, you know, with like institutional involvement with Bitcoin, uh, you know, Fidelity, E-Trade, Back Futures, etc., um, but also, you know, for anybody who hasn't heard, uh, most of you guys who are into crypto probably have, but uh, Binance is kicking U.S. users off their platform on September 12th. Uh, apparently, they've partnered with, you know, BAM Financial Services or something like that out of San Francisco, and they're going to be rolling out a Binance.us. But there's there's kind of a lot of uncertainty in the space right now. A lot of people are trying to figure out, you know, can I still use Binance with a VPN? Can I use a DEX with a VPN? Uh, what's Binance US going to look like? Is it going to have BNB? Is it going to have a bunch of altcoins like Binance? Or is it going to be more like Coinbase and have like 12 coins on it? Um, so I was meaning to make a video talking about it. I've actually made a couple videos about the Binance issue. I haven't posted anything yet. Um, but yeah, yeah, maybe I'll make a kind of a crypto update that update video we can kind of talk about some of the stuff going on but uh if any of you guys have a chance to kind of dig through the libra white paper the tech crunch article whatever else uh you know drop a comment fill us in with, with anything you found that's interesting or whatever and uh if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed i'll catch you guys on the next video later